Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming. Today I'm bringing you a Chandelure deck from Unified Minds and boy is this deck a lot of fun because this Chandelure has got a nice attack for 1 energy, spirit burner, 10 base damage but you discard the top 5 cards of your deck and the attack does 60 damage for each Pokemon that you discarded in this way. But any of the fire Pokemon that you discarded you can put them straight onto your bench. As long as you got the bench space, they go straight on there. So we can cheat evolution with this Chandelure. And yes, we can always also really cheat the Chandelure into play as well. Stage two, more acts like a stage one because we can dust stone it in. And that's really what we're building the deck around. So we want a Litwick, obviously turn one. That's the only basics we're really running and ditto. Uh, we want to get into our land pen, turn two, dust stone, straight into our chandelure, attack, hopefully discard some of our Pokemon and then start attacking from there. So the question is, what other Pokemon or fire Pokemon should we be using? And my favorite, I was playing around with like all sorts of different builds, but my favorite ended up being Charizard because Charizard self charges and can actually one-shot anything in the game because you can just start, you know, putting more and more fire energies onto the Zard and it can hit whatever number that it needs to hit. The Roaring Resolve, you put two damage counters onto the Zard and chuck two energies onto it so we can char charge up the Zard on its own and we can manually attach a Welder attached to build up the energies that way. We also like the Blaziken because the Blaziken has the Fire Starter ability which allows us to swing a Fire Energy from the discard back onto one of our Pokemon. And the other couple is Ninetales for... Um, being out of gust, we don't run any cam custom catches or anything like that because we need maximum Pokemon. So the Nine Towers here is to help us for the gusting. The Macargo is here to get us perfect draws if we are lucky enough to get into these two. We're not going after it hard, although we do have Ditto here, which we can you know mainly evolve into these guys as well. And we've also got a couple of Chameleon, and that's for two reasons: a to bring up our Pokemon count because we want to run lots of Pokemon, but b if we evolve into our Chameleon, well we're only like top decking a Charizard away into getting another Zard on the board as well and that's really the attacking options that we've got. The rest of the deck's about just trying to get set up and then recycle. So we've got Poker Gears to be able to chase down supporters. We're running a Greens engine. Now yes if we unfortunately have to start with a Ditto it means we don't have Greens but if we start with uh, at least one Litwick in hand we can run the Greens engine to get ourselves set up and that's super important. Once we obviously get into our Zards or our Blaze, like anything with abilities well then Greens is out for the rest of the game. We've got Professor Elms to help chase out the Litwicks in the early game and you know get them out of um, I guess discarding them because they're not really who we want to discard to get the early damage on. Um, they're good for getting damage though. We've got Brock's Grit to be able to shuffle a combination of six NGs or Pokemon. So that's really handy because we can shuffle the NGs back for our Zard or we can shuffle the Pokemon back for our Chandelure. So we can make those decisions there. We've got an NG Recycle uh, system which is just an item card which allows us to shuffle extra NGs back. We kind of like that as well. Um, we've got Giant Hearth to be able to go and chase down Fire Engies, but also has the added benefit that if we do have Nine Tails in play, we've got a beautiful Gust option just with, you know, the Giant Hearth um, and the Nine Tails, as long as you're not like me and just, I have no idea what I was doing, but misplay it super badly, which you'll see in one of them. Uh, one reset stamp, we're not chasing it hard, but it's here, and if we have it in the right turn, that's great. And a couple of Welder just to be able to swing in a couple of extra energies onto the Zard if we need to bring up a big number. So that's really the deck list. Shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello, Lord Axel. Welcome. We can make this work, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. I mean, I think it could be worse. I'll say that much. And we're getting two bonus cards. Oh yeah, definitely could be worse. <laughs> Those two cards were like, beautiful. I still haven't gone first with this deck yet. This is nuts. Hmm. What's the goal of this deck? Oh, 
Ah, oh, it could be Nagin Adele. It's not too energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 171 of your opponent's Pokemon. Huh. That's interesting. Why haven't I read you before? I feel like playing Nagin Adele. That seems interesting. I kind of like that. Maybe I should be playing Nagin Adele. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, what do we want to do here? We want to um, poke comps. Go get rid of... We don't want Blaziken in our deck. No, no, that's terrible. Uh, we want ourselves a Litwick. That seems fair. Yep, sounds good. And we want ourselves... Um, this, this green so is going to go and get Pokecoms. And... Maybe a Poke Gear, something like that. What else do I want? Uh, definitely not a Cynthia right now. Uh, Dustone? Uh, do we have a Dustone? Yes, we've got one Dustone. So, we'll go and get ourselves... We're going to Greens on the next one. So, double Pokecoms? Nah, let's grab Poke Gear as well. Yeah, that seems fair. We can thin more out of our deck a little bit later. So we'll poke cons back. We don't want the Zard in here. No, nah, that's terrible. Uh, we want to go and get ourselves possibly a Lampant, but then I I don't mind playing another Litwick right now. Yeah, it seems fine. And I'm gonna poke cons away the Chandelure and go and get ourselves a Lampant. Do I only have two chandeliers? Wow. That's awful. Alright. Do I want a giant hearth at the moment? The answer is yes. Yes, I do. Because it allows me to find a friend. And start thinning the deck out of these fire engines. So we'll find a friend and we'll go and get ourselves a lampant. That seems fun. I actually can't believe that <laughs> I've only got two uh, chandeliers in deck. As long as they stay in deck. So who are you going to hit? You've got Litwick, Litwick, or Litwick. Which Litwick would you like to hit? <laughs> That's my question to you. The front Litwick? Alright. Keep in mind, you've got a GX attack that can heal all your damage, which sucks. Really not a big fan of that. So we're going to greens here. We're going to grab the only other Pokecoms I've got. And... Hmm, what else do we want? Probably some kind of draw support, to be completely honest. Which we might go Poke Gear and trust that this can get me a draw support out. If I can get that, that'll be absolutely massive. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to Lampent. Lampent. Uh, we're going to go and get rid of this Charmeleon back into deck. Uh, what do I want back? Something I don't want to draw into necessarily. I don't want to get a Ditto because Ditto's just terrible. Yeah, we'll go get Ditto ourselves. Um, although that can evolve into, yeah, we might be playing the Ditto here, to be honest. We'll get rid of that Fire NG. Go and get a couple of Fire NGs out, that seems fair. And we'll poke, yeah, go and get ourselves a Welder out, that seems fine. And then we'll Dust Stone. Go and get Chandelure, yep, that's what we're doing. So a double chandelure ready to roll. Although you'd have to get another NG on to... Hmm. We'll see what you do. Get Ditto down. That seems fine. Spirit Burner. We've thinned the deck pretty well. 130 damage. We've got a Charmeleon and Charizard. We'll get both down. Alright. Got a spirit burner on the next one. Although, if you attack with this, if you're silly enough to attack with Mew Mewtwo, we'll go in with Zard. Uh, 
Definitely going in with the Zard if you're silly enough to attack with Mimi. Alright, you gonna put it to me whether I can uh, continue thing the deck? Well, I think I can. To be honest. <laughs> like my chances. Oh, we've got another Zard if we want it. Guarantee the KO or do I just keep going for it? We've got plenty of Pokemon in... Yeah, we've got tons of Pokemon in deck. What do I need? Two. Three. Oh No, two. 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 Because it's ten plus. Hmm. We're going to grab this because we can continue thinning out. So grab these two out. What a welder. These two. To this fine gentleman. Um, we want a poker gear here. Get Cynthia. Then poker gear. Get nothing. Well, there's plenty of Pokemon in there. <laughs> surely, surely. Do I want to go Lampant down? Not really, not right now. Just Spirit Burner. Yes, beautiful. Alright, Zard out. Nine Tails out. Charmeleon. Ooh, that's a bit cool. I like having Nine Tails on the field. Right here, right now. Got ourselves three prize cards. Litwick, don't, don't need that. Uh, don't need that. Oh, now I wish I played Lampin' down to an extent. To an extent. Got a Zard. Cooking in the back line. Don't have many energies left. That's the downside. And you're probably a pretty good chance of being able to snipe me again. Although, you'd need a welder to get that snipe off, by memory. That's a welder, yeah. So... I don't see you getting a snipe off here. Unless you've got double custom catcher somehow. And I've got a beautiful Zard that's just cooking up in the back line there. Wouldn't mind getting to the energy recycler. Do I still have that? I do. Got a switch. Jeez, I love my energy recycler roundabout now. We're in Cynthia. Got Brock's grit for next turn. Just don't know what's in deck right now. We're gonna get rid of you because I don't need this. We've only got one energy in deck. So it's good enough to get the KO on this Dedenne if I want it. But I don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to hedge our bets a little bit. And put it there. And we're just going to run a spirit burner. Okay, my, i got to be careful how often I keep doing this. But take this KO. I can't put anything more on the bench. Get two more. Now you've got to be very careful because I do... Potentially have my way into plenty of energies now. You got the welder, so you can bench snipe. Which is bad. So I now need to get out of the active. Or... I just put an absolute ton of... Injection GX. What's that do? Interesting. Very interesting. To how much are you doing at the moment? Fifty hundred. Yet to two hundred. Two hundred is that enough? I need to have a look what's in there. Really do need to have a look what's in here. One, two Pokemon. So 
So there's two Pokemon left in there. I think Brock's Grit's the safest way to play it. For 230 damage. Oh, it just isn't quite enough. This is my only Brock's Grit. Two hundred and... If I can get to a 250 damage, it would be a lot better. We're going to chuck all the NGs back. That's how we're going to play it. Which is only four at this stage. And a smooth over the car game. And... I don't know. Hazard. What have I got on the field? Uh... Doesn't matter. Azad. So now, if I energy attach here... The problem is... I need to get out of the active. And I need to get NG attaching on. I'm going to NG attach here. I think that's the best play. Really do think that's the best play. Your GX is gone, so this will be a bench snipe. Which means I need to get out of the active now. Actually, that was the misplay. I just realised your GX was gone. You're not healing this anymore. That was a misplay. Alright, so what I need to do then... Is Makago down. We'll not Spirit Burner. We'll get rid of Greens, because we're not Greensing. <laughs> That's for sure. Do I want two NGs? I just want one. I think. We'll grab this to retreat to you. We'll Roaring Resolve here. Two back. To you, just to get maximum damage on. And we'll now set up our top deck to be what? NG Recycle System. I reckon, although, yeah, NG Recycle System. That's where we want our top deck to be. And right now, we're just going to continue this blaze bomb. Get an absolute ton of damage on. Although maybe I need to draw support. Alright, so you're getting healing now. Kind of wish I realised that you used your GX attack or thought about it. It's a massive misplay. So you're going to try and heal it as much up as you can. I'm assuming. Really wish I didn't misplay that and just put as much damage on as possible. So what do I need to? I need to hit two Pokemon. I don't know if I've got two Pokemon in deck. Which is super bad. My top deck is just energy recovery. Be interesting here whether you want to take the Zard or not. Or do you play it more safe and retreat out? You're going to retreat out. So we can go and chase that down. We've got eight NGs in there. I wonder what you actually put in here. I wonder if it was an NG card. So we've got an NG Recycle System, which can get three. It really depends on, honestly, how many NGs I've got left. Which is just enough. Oh, I need to energy recycle system before I did that.
Mmm, I feel like an idiot. I'm gonna have to pass over. I am playing terribly. Grab out you. Uh, grab out, yeah. Grab out this one, on the next one. We're just gonna hold for now. I had it if I just end your recycle system first. See what you're gonna do. So what can I hit? 130. If you get another healing card, I'm in a lot of trouble. Or two healing cards. Got Lily, so you're gonna build up that. Alright, so what we're gonna do is end your recycle system first this time and stop playing like an absolute idiot. <laughs> there we go. Three of these back. Come on game, don't freeze on me. Don't freeze on me, come on. Hello? What's going on? The clock stopped. Have I lost internet connection? Come on, connect. Like, game! I have it here. You can see I have it. I have a feeling it's completely, uh... Oh no. It's gonna actually work all of a sudden. Uh, so, what were we doing? Uh, we'll... Giant Hearth. We only want one of these. So one of these is good enough. To now... Nine Temptations. Uh, these two. For the Mew Mew. And then, Roaring Resolve. Get these two energies back. So I took a lot longer than I should have. Um, but we got that. We got that. And I haven't played this deck for all that long yet, so... <laughs> gotta give it time. But good game, good game. Hello, Guava Killer, welcome. Alright. I think this is the first time, I think I actually won the coin flip for a change. I didn't really pay all that much attention, but... <laughs> We're getting there. We're improving on the uh, coin flip guessing. No. No, that's not the guy I want to start with. <laughs> oh well. Can't win them all. So greens is not going to be good here. Gotta hope that you can find like my Cynthia or something like that. Or that I just have Cynthia like just in hand. That's that's the other alternative, I guess, yeah. Uh we're just gonna Cynthia. I don't think we'll leave that deck. Got a litwick that we can use. Um Chance of you getting me turn one? Pretty high. <laughs> Honestly, that's that's what it is. Professor Holmes with him might have been the other one that I might have gone with actually. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Although I can Elms for it on the next turn. Yeah, we'll go Litwick down. Because I can Elms and Pokecoms on the next turn. True. So yeah, we'll just hold. I wouldn't mind leaving you and somehow going to that Litwick. Well, I might actually manually retreat to the Litwick and just leave you because it's just handy to get into stage ones if I miss them on my attack. Tapagoko's away. I don't like Tapagoko sitting in these. But it nearly seem, seems like just the way you played that and the fact that a Mulga's here like this is supposed to be a post-rotation build, but if it is, it's like, what's Tappy Coco doing here? <laughs> anyway. Certainly uh, going full-on choo-choo.
Shackle? Very interesting. What are you setting up for? It's probably a Tapu Koko build more than anything else. That's what I'm feeling this is. We do want to thin the deck pretty hard on this one, this turn. So we're going to Elms. We're going to get everything we can with this Elms. We're going to... This is the decision I now have to make. I'd rather go in with you. So we're going to poke Elms a Litwick back. And get myself Lampent down. I really am a bigger fan of going in with this one than Ditto, because Ditto just gives me options. So yeah, we'll just get Chandelure here. Um So, big fan of going Fire Energy here, retreating out to you. Um, wearing a giant hearth. Uh, getting rid of Litwick to grab a couple of Engies. And then running a Poker Gear to grab whatever I can. Brock's Grit, that's what I'm feeling here. Brock's Grit's better. And then. Do I want another Litwick down? I feel like it's nearly yes, but on the next turn, we'll wait. Spirit Burner. 190 damage. All right, we definitely want you up. We definitely want you up and you up. Yep, that's fun. Didn't get a Zard. Got a Charmeleon. Put a lot of damage on that Choo Choo. -choo I'm assuming this is all about the Tapu Coco swing in now. Which, like I said, it's weird because this feels post rotation, but Tapu Coco is not. <laughs> it's like. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm 99% sure Tapu Koko is not post-rotation. That's it, it's just weird. But you've got to be worried about that choo-choo now. Yeah, so it's Tapu Koko. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not. The way you've built this feels like it's post-rotation. It's just a weird way to go about it, I guess. Hmm, it's one of these things. I think we go Chandelure at the moment. And keep burning through the deck. We don't want to Brox Grit yet. Certainly don't want to Brox Grit. Not at all. Although, you're not even going to KO me. Interesting call. Cool. We could KO Choo Choo instead. Or we could just leave it for the next turn. Potentially. Uh, I think we go after Choo Choo. Because I'm one Pokemon away from getting that Choo Choo. Yeah. This is how we're going to play it. We're going to discard you. I don't need you. Get a couple of energies out, just to continue thinning this deck. We're going to use a couple of energies here. To bring up Choo Choo. We're going to fire starter. And this energy can go to Charmeleon. 
And right now, do we want to Bronx Grit this turn? No. Definitely not. We just want a Spirit Burner. Are you serious? We didn't find a single Pokemon. Do you have any Pokemon are left in deck? That's nuts. That's nuts. Wow. Ouch. Gonna goose with me. Get rid of Nine Tails. That is brutal. I can't believe we didn't get a single Pokemon. That has to basically guarantee a Pokemon's coming next. Surely. So yeah, it's <laughs> with Guzmas is clearly not post rotation. It's not even a post rotation Tapu Koko, which doesn't exist. But anyway, I seriously, I'm still getting over the fact that I whiffed so hard. Like the majority of the rest of the deck must be Pokemon cards. Like, well, I'll say Pokemon cards, Pokemon. Does suck nine tails is down. You only had to hit one. Uh, all right. Well, we can still get nine tails back up. Theory, theoretically. Theoretically, we can get him back up. So we don't sit here and say, you know, that's the end of the world just yet. Uh, fire starter. We'll get an NG to this guy. Am I feeling this guy? Zard. Zard's fine. Oh, Charmeleon. Uh, we'll continue thinning. We'll just keep pulling all of our NGs out of the deck. Uh, we'll manually attach to you. And at the moment, like, how many Pokemon have I discarded? Only nine tails lit and two Litwicks. Come on, surely. That's just like five Pokemon. 100 no damage. Get Zard. Uh, we'll get Blaziken as well. I don't want another Lampant. Yeah, these two will be fine. These two will be fine. Alright. <laughs> I seriously can't believe I whiffed. Like, I've got 20 something Pokemon in the deck. It's like over two thirds of the deck and I whiffed completely. That must be a rarity to occur. That hasn't occurred yet, so... Can't believe I haven't got any Pokemon in hand either. It's like, it's not like I was holding them all in hand. Gonna go with Nagnadelm. A bit cool. So I'm gonna be just mindful of the deck situation, the deck out situation. So I'm making sure I get into the trainers that I need for the rest of this. Oh, rude. I was using that. Well, I'd finished using it, but still. Get all that out of an ultra space. That's only for me. <laughs> You're not going to be on turning point in the next turn, so it'll be interesting to see what you try in the next one. I think we go Zard up to guarantee it, although all my energies are in hand when I think about this. All my energies are in hand, so we're gonna go Chandelure up. We're in a Poker Gear. By the looks of it, I've got tons of Pokemon still in deck. We're gonna grab another Brock's Grit. I think we're gonna Brock's Grit. This turn, next turn. I kind of want to try. We're a fire starter first. We're going to get these two NGs. Well, at least one NG to the Zard. 
We get a second energy to the Zard. Do we need it? Really? Probably not. Get a second energy on anyway. Uh, we are going to Brock's Grit here, I feel. Uh, yeah, we'll poke comms this guy back. Go and get ourselves a Charizard down. Kind of want a Brock's Grit later, but... We need to now. Maximize the Pokemon. Chandelure. Two of you. And two of you. And... Right here. Hope that I don't discard too many energies. Smack out you. Wow, nothing but Pokemon. Guess who's back, buddy? Nine times. <laughs> Nine times is back out to play. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Night Tower says hello. <laughs> so, you have to somehow stop me from getting to that choo choo. <laughs> I've got two Zards ready to go. You've got to be able to get to that Nine Tails this turn. And I'm assuming you, you are running Guzmas and stuff, so there's a good chance of you having another Guzma or something. <laughs> But the reality is, I'm making you have to get to the Guzma. Right here, right now. And Turning Point won't do it for you. Turning Point won't get the KO with nine taps. And in fact, Turning Point won't get the KO on anyone. What I'm doing is just manually retreating out and pulling up that choo-choo. Although, I do need another energy. To make that happen. So it might not be quite that easy for me. But surely I don't whiff on one Pokemon again. Nah, you're gonna Guzma? You have to go with the Choo Choo, but then that puts Choo Choo up front. Alright, you're gonna put it to me. Do I have it? So this is much harder for me. Oh, you're going to put Tapu Koko in? Alright. Well, we just whack out Tapu Koko here and we just sit here once again and go... Well, you're going to have to take out two Zards. <laughs> Potentially. I mean, you're probably going to go with Koko again. Because it's going to be a Koko heavy deal. But, you know, I've got options. I've got options. So... So we'll go Zard in. As he continues to be rude. Um, what's in my deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Pokemon. Two energies. All right. So we're gonna manually energy attach here. Which gets me 180, which is enough. And right now I don't want to do anything more. I don't want to do anything more, just continuous blaze ball, smack into you. Get two more prize cards. Now you can't afford to lose one more prize card. <laughs> Even with your Guzmas to go and pick off that Nine Tails. <laughs> you stop me from gusting. Can I go Choo Choo in now? What's your GX attack do? I didn't even look. Switch was on your bench Pokemon. So you can hit and run. But I just need to take KO. If you can take out the Zard, well that's no problem to me. <laughs> All over. And yes, I am going to just do maximum damage for the sake of doing maximum damage. Do you want to, uh, Roaring Resolve? Grab that extra couple of NGs out of deck. That seems fine. And we're overkilling. 
Absolute overkill. Smash through you. <laughs> 280 damage on that Naganadel. <laughs> GG's, GG's. Hello, Team Plodo. Welcome. Wouldn't mind going first at some stage. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Ah, well, we're gonna go uh, double lick back down. Oh, Lampet versus Lampet. Unfortunately, my Lampet isn't going first. <laughs> the young boy, Fire Crystal version. Yeah, we'll draw a cut. Nine towers. That's not what we want. Blacephalon Lampet. Fair enough. I am very intrigued by this now. I don't really know what I want out at the moment. We'll burn that. Get an extra three. Poke comms. I really want the nine towers back. We want to get, I reckon with greens, we're getting greens here. So we'll go and get our Lampant. That seems fine. We're gonna... What do I want a greens for? Go and get Dust Stone, that's for sure. What do we have as a supporter next? Cynthia? Seems pretty fair. Uh, we want... No, in fact, I just want a greens, double greens two times in a row. I think just double greens here. Yeah, that seems fair. That's what we want to do. And just hold a big hand. Chuck a fire energy to you. We will giant hearth now. Uh, do we want to get rid of anything? I think we do want to get rid of this ditto. We don't need the ditto right now. We'll just go and get a couple of these. Although that was my Pokemon's potentially for next turn. That's fine. We'll find a friend. We'll just go and get Lampant, I reckon. Yeah, that seems good. Although, now let's draw the Litwick out of deck. Just draw a Litwick out. We're fine with that. We just got to assume this Litwick here goes down. The same we've got to assume. The reason why we're going with greens, I just want to pull as much out of the deck without having Pokemon that I need in hand. That's the plan anyway. I'm a giant hearth there, it's a potential that I can uh, draw more fire energies out of the deck. Then we can use our Cynthia afterwards, so that is the plan. Ah, it's more bland than anything else. What was the lamp in about then? I swear I've seen that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I was seeing things. And take the prize card while you can. Alright, that seems fine. So we'll lamp in here. Yep. Dust Stone. Go and get out of Chandelure. We shall greens, and this one we'll go and get dust stone again, and I reckon we'll go and get what don't we want to discard? No matter what, probably the welder or energy recycler system, maybe. I think welder. We want to keep welder, although we're easily KOing you, potentially. I think. 
We'll energy recycler system. We'll save that as our priority. So we'll poke comes, the litwick back. Go and get Lampent out. Involve that one. Dust stone. Chandelure. And then get rid of this one. Go and get two fire engies. So hopefully we thin the deck quite nicely here. That's what we're going to do. Spirit banner. Yes, beautiful. And got rid of a green, so that's good. Oh yeah, we want all three. That's good. Beautiful. That's how we want to play. And we've got a nice blazer can out to go and get some uh, energies back from the discard at the same time, so that's good. So I'm thinking that what we'll actually do is Chandelure once more here. And just keep what's in hand, largely. Maybe run a welder. I mean, who am I going to weld it to, though? Going to Guzma me? Going to get rid of my Blaziken? Okay. That's rude. But you leave Chandelure here. Plus, you've got nothing on the bench. And you don't have the KO by the looks of things. Wow. Alright, well... Do I use my welder to... Run a switch. Uh, we don't want any of those. <laughs> um, grab Professor Elms. I'm actually thinking of running Welder to switch. Yeah, I think that's how we play it. Let's run Welder. Get those two onto you. Because we've got the game this way. Run Resolve. Grab two NGs. That's 130. Yeah, that's all we need. So retreat to the Zard. NG on just for good measure. And continuous blaze pull. Smack you out. <laughs> well, I can't believe you didn't have like anything there. Anything. Hello, XGBA. Or Degs, whatever your name is. Welcome. <laughs> I've given up on your name. <laughs> it's too hard, too hard. I reckon, I'm just trying to think, I reckon with the greens we'll go and grab the a poker comms. Yeah, a poke comms and probably, so we got Reshazard coming. Um, another Litwick, because I've got to expect the Litwick that's on my, um, in my active right now, that'll get KO'd pretty quickly. Hmm. Ah, oh, you got the board. Yeah, like I said, it's going to get KO'd pretty quickly. <laughs> and you got turn one Kiawe. Alright. So I have to make it happen with my uh, Chandelure on turn two. Wow. Okay. We're gonna green, so we're gonna get poke. We've got to get dust stone and poke comms. Yeah, that's what we've got to do here. I feel we're going to poke comms away, a Zard. Go and get Litwick down. Go 
Then we're gonna... Uh, giant Hearth. We're gonna get rid of this Fire Energy to go and get a couple more. So we can recover Fire Energies at a later date. We just need to thin a little bit here. We're gonna need Poker Gear. Got ourselves a Cynthia for the next turn. That could be good or bad. Um, find a friend. Who's your friend gonna be? I think another Litwick, to be honest. Just so I've got that building. Alright, so you've got the KO here. As long as you don't hand disrupt. I have my way into Chandelure after that. So we're good in that department. We are gonna play this down. We're gonna NG attach here. Lampent down. Dust stone. Go and get Chandelure down. Now the plan is Cynthia and hope that I don't draw Pokemon. <laughs> Just draw everything bar Pokemon. Alright, that wasn't everything bar Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna go and get Charizards because we want Zards in here. Uh, what don't we want in here? Lampents. Uh, Chandelures are okay. We can accept a Chandelure. So we'll grab Lampent down. Out. Uh, I reckon we're gonna whack Ditto down because that could get me my nine tails up for once and we're gonna get rid of this or lamp hand depending on what I want to do here seems fine oh I wanted two NGs idiot oh well well spirit banner 250 damage now that was good double Charizard and Chandelure that seems fair double Zard and Chandelure 250 damage on the Zard. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I reckon we'll nearly make this a nine tiles. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> oh, that, that worked brilliantly. Power plant's not going to do much for me. Well, for you anyway. <laughs> the only thing we didn't get is something to get NGs back out of the discard. So, that's something that is bad. And we don't have something to... Like, ready to roll yet. So, we could... <laughs> Look at my attackers lad ready to roll. That was just beautiful. And it is time to rate this deck. So what do I think about this one? Well, I actually think this is a better way or the best way we've had so far to play Charizard, to be honest. it's It really surprised me by how well this deck was working for me. I mean, I wasn't even playing it all that optimally and yet this deck was absolutely on fire. Pardon the pun. Um, <laughs> so, uh, starting with damage here. The damage, well, we can pretty much one-shot anything in the game, whether it be with the Charizard, with the Continuous Blaze Ball, and getting enough Fire Energies onto the Zard, plus the Chandelure. If you actually, like, get real lucky and just discard five Pokemon, it does 310 damage. That's insane! I mean, like, these two, the damage potential... Po um, out of them is just nuts good and we love the damage output of this deck so damage we're giving it a 10 out of 10. As for the defense we are a one prize card trade and hey our HP is annoying 140 is actually annoying to you know pull up the correct number for 150 you're self damaging so that's 130 that's a little bit more reachable for non GX decks but yeah it's the, the HP is reasonable on a one prize card trade, so we're not healing or anything like that, but I am going to give an 8 out of 10 for that one prize card trade and having 140 you know, HP on these Chandelures. As for reliability, well, 
I didn't really have too many issues uh, setting this up and the self-charging Charizard goes nicely um, to be able to you know, charge up your attacks that way. A really efficient attack on the Chandelure makes this just roll. The only downside is you are relying on a little bit of luck on the Spirit Burner. So there's a bit you can do to try and swing it into your favour by trying to thin the deck of other cards as much as you can. But yeah, you're still relying on the Spirit Burner hitting those Pokemon that you need to be able to get yourself going for the rest of the game. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a tentative 8 out of 10, even though I had really, like, you know, good luck in the time that I was playing with the deck and it was just, you know, rolling really nicely. So overall, what do I think? Well, this so far has been my favourite budget build for the uh, post-rotation that I've put together. I haven't put together many yet, but this deck is pretty devastating and hits beautiful numbers. It's worth giving it a go. So overall, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10.